I told you guys before, I always bring the guests, best guests to my program. And the gentleman that's in front of my camera is no exception to that statement. I'm here with the legendary Tim Towson. How you doing, Tim? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm fine, man. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for spending time with me and my audience. Um, I don't know too much about you, but I've heard things about you. But it's best for me to hear from you. Uh, so how did you start your love affair with comics? How did I start my love for the comics? Oh, gosh. When I was like four years old, I bought a... Uh, my father bought me this old comic book uh, at a gas station. This is back in the 70s when you can get those three packs. It was like in a, in a plastic sleeve. And the, the two books on the outside were always like garbage. But you never knew what the one in the middle was. So the one in the middle was an old Charlton Comics E-Man by Joe Statton. But it had a John Byrne Raj 2000 story in the back. And when I saw that Raj 2000 story, it just freaked me out. And uh, I started my obsession with John Byrne, started my obsession with drawing, started my obsession with comics. And uh, I think I was four when I told my mom I want to be a comic book artist. <laughs> Unfortunately, truth be told, a lot of people are obsessed with John Byrne. But, you know, John Byrne doesn't like to hang out too much in public. But it's okay. All right, cool. That's, I'm glad you told your mom your dream. Was she supportive? Oh, very supportive. Uh, she couldn't have been more supportive. We, we didn't have a lot of money, but anything art-related that I want, wanted or needed, she, she made sure I had. So it's safe to say she was a lover of the arts. Yes, yes, definitely. So what was it like for you to work on your very first assignment? Oh, wow. Um, well, I started out at Extreme Studios for Image Comics, working for Rob Liefeld, and I, that was mostly assistant work. That's kind of where I cut my teeth, uh, learning how to ink under, like, Dan Pinosian and Art T. Bear. Um, but when I left there, <clears throat> I swam back upstream to Marvel, and uh, they put me on Wolverine with Adam Kubert as pretty much my first, you know, first big assignment. Little intimidating. Really? Adam, Adam is a wonderful person, man. I meant... He's the, best person, he's the best guy in the world. As a fan of his art, though, and having to finish it, it was, uh, it was a little intimidating, but uh, it was a lot of fun, and uh, there's no better way to learn than to just do it. He's great. His brother's great. His dad is great. Man, you're in good hands. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's comic royalty right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so what have you been working up to working on these days now? Actually, I took about uh, two years off recently. Um, I just kind of hit the wall creatively and uh, mentally and just needed a break, wanted to spend some time with my family. So uh, I've just been focusing on shows. And uh, something that I can't talk about right now may have just fallen into my lap a few days ago. So when I get back from the show this week and have a <coughs> talk with a certain somebody and uh, something, something pretty big, something pretty big. Okay, that's on this. Oh, it's okay, man. I mean, it's not set in stone yet. The ink, the ink hasn't officially dried yet, which is okay. And I totally understand because being in this industry, you get burned out. Like, for me, uh, when I draw... I usually take two to three months off because you need time for your um, bones to get back in this place. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot to deal with. I see you got a lot of nice prints here. You got Spider-Man, you got Wolverine, you got X-Men, you got uh, Joe Maduro, and Psylocke. Yeah, yeah, we just rolled these, uh, these prints out. They're um, part of a Marvel signature series, so it's all sanctioned through Marvel. It's all licensed. It's all legit. <laughs> I would never, ever assume that you're um, not a legal businessman. <laughs> you know, you're an entrepreneur. You're, you're doing things legally. You got to play ball, man. You got to play ball. You got to do what you got to do. All right. Well, Tim, if somebody wanted to reach, reach out to you for work, what's the best way for them to contact you? Uh, on my Facebook or Instagram account. All right. Well, Tim, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for being here. Keep kicking ass and taking no prisoners. My pleasure, man. Nice to meet you. All right. Well, guys, you heard what the man said, Instagram and Facebook. And that's a wrap. Until next time, bye-bye.